You must think I was born yesterday. <clears throat> Between us, this map has proven a challenge even for me. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a Red Dead 2 advice video. It has been an adventure as I pursue 100%. I have found missions I overlooked and met people I never knew existed. In my previous two playthroughs, I thought I did a good job of covering missions and exploring, but I realized I did not. And getting to 100% requires a certain commitment to playing that opens the world up and makes me realize how incredible the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 truly is. Now, everything I elaborate in this video can be completed and achieved before the end of Chapter 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 is set up with six main chapters and follows a three-act narrative. Chapters 1 and 2 introduce you to the characters and the problems they are encountering. Chapters 3 and 4 increase and ratchet up those problems. And then chapter 5 and 6 lead to the resolution of the problems. But by the end of Chapter 5, Arthur is in the final stages of tuberculosis, and it is incredibly difficult to do anything except the main story missions. So if you follow along and, like I said, take my advice, you can get a lot done before the end of Chapter 2, and you will have Arthur pretty much at full strength for chapter 3 and 4. Chapter 1 is very lineal and Arthur cannot really leave camp and go out exploring. The developers have a clever way of keeping Arthur in camp. The horse Arthur rides dies of exposure quickly if you leave camp. <laughs> Since there is a mission where uh, Dutch takes Arthur and the gang to shoot up an O'Driscoll camp, loot. Loot every dead body. Don't let Dutch or Micah pressure Arthur into getting back to them and looking for what is needed to look for. Loot, loot, loot. This makes it easier for Arthur later on when chapter 2 opens and I will elaborate once the train robbery happens loot those guys and make sure you take everything loot everybody you can loot and then when you get to horseshoe outlook things can begin Before you go out hunting, what you want to do is pack three outfits onto your horse. A cold weather outfit, a warm weather outfit, and a medium kind of mild weather outfit. These help because Arthur's um, health and stamina regenerate based on how his body is handling the climate. If you have the wrong clothing, that can affect things. Also, check Arthur's health and his horse's health periodically. Arthur should be average in weight and his horse should be fit. When Arthur eats, your horse eats. If you cook at the campfire, feed your horse. If you eat while riding, 
i.e. eating some baked beans, feed your horse something. At least twice a day, feed your horse and feed Arthur. When you go out hunting for the camp to bring back food, look for Maximo. He is readily available right from the get-go. He is the guy who sells Arthur a map to the Jack Hall gang treasure, and that is two gold bars, which is $1,000, and that can go a long way to purchasing stuff for the camp and fast travel. In fact, my advice is once you get the treasure map, do not go looking for the treasure until after a certain mission is complete in Chapter 2, because after that mission is complete, Arthur can go out and adventure. While out hunting, get two roads before you go to Valentine. Why? Well, the fence is available at roads, and you can sell them all that stuff you looted. All that valuable stuff you pulled off of the corpses in Chapter 1, you can sell to the fence. Not only can you sell stuff to the fence, but there's pamphlets available. Poison arrow, um, small game arrow, etc. Those are all very useful for Arthur when he's crafting at the campfire. And they give him better abilities when he's hunting. And he can get better pelts, which are very good for crafting. So yeah, once you get the roads, sell everything you can to the fence and buy whatever pamphlets are available. Stables are not available to Arthur until he plays a certain mission in Chapter 2. I'm going to cover those things and... Now that you have hunted, found Maximo, sold stuff to the fence in roads, you're going to want to return to camp and start playing the main missions. And I'm going to elaborate to you how to play those missions in a certain order so then you can unlock things and Arthur is then free to roam. Yeah, this is actually a really nice place not too far from the horse person um yeah near uh i forget the area but right here again this is actually a little sightseeing When you get to camp, wake uncle and do polite society Valentine style. Then when you complete that mission, immediately do Americans at rest in the Valentine saloon. This mission ends with Thomas Downs stopping Arthur from beating to death the big bully. Doing this unlocks Herr Strauss's mission, money lending and other sins. You have to do the first collection and when you return the donations box is unlocked as is the ledger. Once you've made the first deposit of money into the donation box, if you can, Upgrade Dutch's Tent. This will allow you then to open up the fast travel and further do other things. But first, Herr Strauss has a conversation with you. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. 
Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Once you've unlocked the donation box and the ledger, go talk to Hosea and do exit pursued by a bruised eagle. This mission opens up the stables and Hosea gives Arthur the legendary animal map. And hunting legendary animals, you have to hunt five and kill them in order to get 100%. And there are two animals, the legendary buck and the legendary uh, elk that are very helpful. Whether you return with Hosea or not doesn't matter. When you get back to camp at some point, if you haven't met Hosea at Emerald Ranch, Mrs. Grimshaw gives you a message. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Since you are contributing to the camp food supply, don't forget to eat the stew. It gives Arthur health bonuses, and it keeps his weight up. And it's very essential. Whenever there is stew and you can eat it, don't forget to eat the stew. While out adventuring, don't forget to take a bath while, when you're in town. This is actually counting toward 100%. And once you've done the mission with Hosea, you should be able to adventure, hunt, travel, do whatever. Again, don't forget to take a bath. Because if you go out hunting and adventuring and you come back into camp with, uh, how shall I say, very scruffy, dirty appearance, you upset Mrs. Grimshaw. Oh, Mr. Morgan, you're quite a sight. Huh. You're revolting, and you'll get all of us sick. Come with me. Oh, <laughs> I'm sort of busy right now. <laughs> I wasn't asking. I'm telling my camp my rules. Come on. Get. some money for your troubles. Why, thank you, kind sir. If you found the Jack Hall gang treasure and sold the gold bars to the fence, you can open up the ledger and you can purchase the fast travel next in line. And Arthur will now have a map that he can travel to various cities and places he's opened up. And that does cost money a little bit, but it is worth it. Also, since you now have the ledger open and you have some money, you want to go and purchase leather working tools for Pearson. Pearson can make satchels, and one of the best satchels is legends of the east it takes a little while but once you gather everything you get all the satchels made it is worth it again purchase leather working tools for pearson while you got the ledger open some of the satchels that pearson crafts requires things like upgrading the medical wagon the provisions wagon 
um, things like that. Plus, those satchels require um, certain things like crafting and donating carcasses. The material satchel requires that you donate five carcasses. They don't have to be perfect, but you might as well bring in a few perfect carcasses because not only do they provide food, they provide crafting for Pearson. So yeah, bring in a perfect pronghorn carcass and Pearson can craft up your material satchel and something from the pronghorn's pelt. The ingredient satchel requires you to craft three items at the scout camp. It doesn't say which three items you have to craft. Potent bitters, small game arrows, anything. Just craft three items and then you can get the ingredient satchel. Once you have all the satchels crafted and you get the perfect um, pelts for the Legends of the East satchel, you can unlock that. Once the Legends of the East satchel is crafted, essentially Arthur has unlimited storage capacity. He can store like 99 of each item or something. It's just insane. You can travel all over, hunt, camp, and eventually do the Chapter 2 main missions. But one of the things you end up doing is if you read Mary Linton's letter, um, Herr Strauss talks to Arthur. Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. That was miles away, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, it's that fellow Downs. The, uh, do-gooder? Exactly. We lent him quite a sum. It seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Harris Just Had a lot on. I'll go give him a gentle reminder. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish. Well, it really doesn't matter. You still have to go to Thomas Downs eventually and talk to Mary. But you can run around and have a great time and almost travel around unmolested. One of the things I advise, go get the White Arabian Horse. I usually fast travel to Coulter from camping because you can't get to Coulter via the map in camp. But when you are out camping, fast travel to Coulter, ride your way down to Lake Isabella, and try and get the White Arabian Horse. It is the second best horse, but it is way better than any of the other horses. And if you couple it with the Panther Trail Saddle, wow, this thing is an awesome horse. And the white legendary buffalo is in the area, though hunting it can be problematic. I did a video on it. It's probably linked in the description. Feel free to watch it. But now that you've got the white Arabian horse, you know what? You might want to go over to the Wapati Reservation. I actually did this before I got the white Arabian horse, but it's a moot point. Once you get to the Wapati Reservation, there is a lockbox beneath a bridge next to an abandoned building. It contains the Dynamite Arrow pamphlet. You can't get this until somewhere in Chapter 3, but it is located here at the Wapati Indian Reservation, and you can get it early, so why not get some Dynamite Arrows early? They are a lot of fun and increase 
Arthur's Arsenal. Now that you got this, you might want to go hunt and get a perfect panther hide because then you can craft the panther trail saddle. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Okay. If you don't want to put it on now, I can send it on to the stable. This is without a doubt the best saddle, and it gives your horse the best bonuses compared to any other saddle. Get it done. And with the white Arabian horse, it is awesome. Now you can go out and adventure. And of course, if you've read Mary's letter and talked to Mr. Strauss about Thomas Downs, in order to progress the game, you're going to have to go to his farm and, well, the fateful moment will happen. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. And that's my advice. I hope it makes the game better for you, more interesting, more enjoyable, whether you take it or not, but it is all achievable. Eventually, Arthur will come, succumb to TB, and we know how it all ends. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, Hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos related to video games a week, some shorts and some specials as well. You want to stay informed. Again, I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.